Okay. I think this is a kind of a bigger seller at Harbor Freight, I would guess. Maybe a lot of people don't buy it. I don't know. I haven't found many videos on it because there's not much to say about it. At least I didn't think there would be. Um, item number 60359. This is not, this is sort of like a wagon without sides. And so it's great because I can throw my generator on it and my little compressor and even my little welder and roll it around on the property. Have the generator power, the compressor, the welder, um, or whatever. And uh, just use a little strap to strap it on there. Um, a lot of people complain about the tires. I don't know, you know, they'll, they look okay right now. I, I imagine if you leave it out in the sun, that could be a problem. Okay, so the reason I'm bringing this video up is... Uh, trying to save my back so I'm not carrying stuff all the time and one of the problems I had was well number one the directions aren't very clear as far as what parts go where but um, when you use these acorn nuts on the wheels here um, that just popped off and I didn't think I was torquing it very much but apparently I did enough to break that off and I've done that before with acorn nuts. And But then, once you bust that off, this is super loose. And it just, when you spin the wheel, this wants to spin even with a washer in place. So what I found was, um, I thought that would be a metric, that, and it probably is, but this is close enough. These one half by 13 pitch. Um, this is from Harbor Freight as well. You might recognize it. If you don't have this little thing, um, if you like lock nuts as much as I do, nylon lock nuts, then just buy it. Um, you'll use them for different things, and these happen to work out perfect. And so the thread isn't exactly perfect, but I can still snug it up nice and tight. So this one actually broke up acorn nut because the weld here had spilled over into this side, so the wheel didn't go on as far. It was sticking out like that, and I had to use the grinder to grind it off. And so it's ground off now. That's the silver part that you can see right there. Anyway, now this will fit all the way on there. Um, and I feel better about... A nylon lock nut on something like this anyway I'd almost rather have a cotter pin you know holding it in place and you know for sure that's not going to come off so you know that actually fits pretty good there's almost no wobble in the nut itself when you try to wobble it, it feels pretty tight so just a quick little trick there to and you can tighten this down on the washer because it's tightening against the axle and not the wheel itself so yeah works good Okay, and you can see that the nylon has gotten plenty bite on the threads there because that nylon's right underneath that outer part there. Cool. Yeah, so I should have bought this thing a long time ago so I'm not lugging 30, 40 pounds around all the time. And, um... You know, the directions are okay. It's hard for me to re change the words into what they want. But anyway, they don't really have a list of parts like that you can see. The list of parts is there, but it doesn't show you a picture of what it is. So there's like four lock washers that I had left over, and I don't even know where they go because I didn't read the directions that well. Hey, uh, and it doesn't say lock washer anywhere that I can see. So anyhow, yeah. Um, but just lay the parts out where you think you're going to need them before you start screwing stuff together and uh, kind of have them all in place. And then when, when you got all the parts in the right kind of area, then go ahead and put it together. Yeah, and it's, it'll be fine. And it looks fine. You know, it's, uh, I don't know. I can stand on it. I can jump on it. And it seems supposed to hold a thousand pounds. Whatever. I don't know if it will or not, but I don't need to hold a thousand pounds. Maybe like 400, three or 400 at the most at a time. Good, that should do the trick.